Leia here from LeiaForSci.com, and in this video, I'll take you through the Friedel Crafts alkylation reaction and mechanism. You can catch my entire series on electrophilic aromatic substitution by visiting my website, LeiaForSci.com slash EAS. Friedel Crafts alkylation is very similar to Friedel Crafts acylation, so the two reactions should really be learned together. In the next video I'll go through acylation, the video after that I'll compare and contrast and show you why it's important to learn the two together. But first let's have a quick overview. The Friedel Crafts alkylation reaction is one in which an alkyl halide reacts in the presence of a Lewis acid such as AlCl3 to give an alkylated benzene. In this case the R represents the alkyl group the key to this reaction is the fact that when chlorine is removed from the alkyl group, we get a carbocation which is very unstable and therefore the super electrophile. So let's see how that happens. If you go back to my aromatic halogenation video, you'll see that I talk about the chlorine that doesn't give up. In this reaction, we'll have a very similar situation of chlorine that just doesn't know when to give up. The reaction begins when the chlorine on the alkyl halide reaches out for and attacks the Lewis acid, in this case the aluminum. Recognize that while aluminum is an exception to the octet rule and is comfortable with only three bonds or six electrons, chlorine still takes advantage of that lack of octet and attacks forming a bond between chlorine and aluminum. When chlorine attacks, it drags the entire alkyl chain along. I'll rotate it here so you can have a clearer understanding of what's going on. We now have the purple chlorine bound to the AlCl3 giving me AlCl4 with the alkyl chain attached. Using my formal charge trick of should minus has, aluminum should have three valence electrons. Directly attached, we have four. Three minus four is negative one, giving aluminum a formal charge of minus one. But don't forget the chlorine. Chlorine should have seven valence electrons, but here chlorine has only six. Seven minus six gives me positive one. While the positive and negative cancel out giving me a neutral molecule, this is very unstable because halogens are highly electronegative and really dislike that positive charge. We called chlorine the atom that doesn't know when to give up for good reason, because chlorine wants to compensate for that positive charge and does so by taking the electrons that bind it to carbon, breaking it away from carbon. This results in an AlCl4- and a carbon that has a positive charge. You may not recognize the carbocation as a super electrophile because you're likely used to seeing this from back when you studied alkene reactions. But keep in mind carbon is an atom that is slightly electronegative and therefore dislikes that positive charge. With carbon being positive and unhappy, it's unstable enough to be our super electrophile and this is enough to entice benzene to attack and break open its aromaticity. The Friedel Crafts alkylation mechanism begins when benzene uses one of its pi bonds to reach out for the carbocation and attack, breaking open its aromaticity. The resulting intermediate is no longer aromatic, but we do have that isopropyl group now attached to the carbon on the very same carbon that we still have a hydrogen atom. The fact that carbon now has four bonds makes it sp3 hybridized, and don't forget the positive charge on the next carbon atom from where the pi bond broke away. In order to reform the aromaticity, we have to take that sp3 tetrahedral carbon, make it trigonal planar, and at the same time put the pi bond back in benzene. Remember that chlorine atom that didn't know when to give up? It finally realizes that it has to be useful and breaks away from the AlCl3 using those electrons to form a bond between the hydrogen atom sitting on the ring. When it grabs the hydrogen, it only grabs the nucleus leaving the bonding electrons to collapse towards the carbocation, reforming that aromaticity, reforming that resonance. The products of this reaction includes an isopropyl group attached to the benzene ring, a molecule of HCl, and the AlCl3 catalyst regenerated and ready to proceed with another reaction. There are some limitations to Friedel Crafts alkylation, so be sure you watch the next two videos on Friedel Crafts acylation and the comparison between the two reactions. You can catch my entire series on electrophilic aromatic substitution by visiting my website, layupforsci.com slash EAS. Are you struggling with organic chemistry? Are you looking for resources and information to guide you through the course and help you succeed? If so, then I have a deal for you. A free copy of my ebook, 10 Secrets to Acing Organic Chemistry. Use the link below 
or visit orgosecrets.com to grab your free copy. After downloading your free copy of my ebook, you'll begin receiving my exclusive email updates with cheat sheets, reaction guides, study tips, and so much more. You'll also be the first to know when I have a new video or live review coming up. If you enjoyed this video, please click the thumbs up and share it with your organic chemistry friends and classmates. I will be uploading many videos over the course of the semester, so if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, do so right now to be sure that you don't miss out.